before i start let me introduce myself so my name is shubham and i am a agile coach and at the same time i am a professional scrum master with over 11 years of experience in scrum project management i've delivered project using scrum in the domain of banking uh, fintech capital markets i catered customers of telecom and pharmaceutical industry as well guys first of all before even starting off with saying the difference between scrum master and uh, the project manager manager these two are different roles and i'll i'll get on to that where the difference comes in but before that we need to understand what is scrum and way we are before that we need to understand why scrum exist see majorly when we talk about project management our times are evolving so guys do not ever limit your i would say approach towards one single industry scrum is something that can be applied to everything to any industry that you can think of we have case studies in which scrum was applied to hospitals scrum was applied to oil and gas industry see any industry in which you see scope of improvement in terms of delivery of value that is where your scrum strikes in so i was coming on to the fact that before actually uh, telling you about what scrum is why scrum was needed or why scrum came into being think of whatsapp so if you know whatsapp whatsapp let's say if i come to you and ask you that can you build me whatsapp in early 2000 what used to happen was the traditional way of project management was followed in that way uh, uh, project managers uh, stakeholders developers all used to gather and the involvement of stakeholders was just was just at the beginning of the project that's it and they used to get the project after 2 years now you got into a product and you asked uh let's say a service firm that i we want uh an app like whatsapp to be built that's fine they'll they'll give you the app in 2 years okay but seeing the times that we have right now can we really wait for 2 years can can the customer really wait for 2 years no that's not really possible reason for that is that now the times are evolving within 2 years there are so many features that come into place that comes into whatsapp itself that if you deliver let's say whatever was decided 2 years back and you deliver the same requirements even if you deliver the same requirements after 2 years uh, your app will be very obsolete or old or it will not have the features that can compete with the market so you need to think in an agile manner so that is the reason why uh, this scrum came into being rather than following a waterfall model waterfall model was that first plan everything uh, or list all the requirements then develop and lastly you deliver it took a lot of time and that's not possible so that is why we came into uh we came into an agile approach or an agile philosophy that says that your deliveries or the uh, product that you are delivering should be iterative and incremental and it should be in short uh, period of time it should not be like that we should deliver it in 2 years no that's not the way to go right now because see the market the features are evolving at such a faster rate that you cannot really wait for so many years to get a product you need to get a product by end of month so that customer can check it out earlier when the customer was getting it after 2 years there was no customer involvement during that 2 year period or the waterfall model but when we talk about the agile approach or one of the way to implement agile approach is scrum so when we talk about scrum scrum is basically a, a lightweight framework when we talk about lightweight we are talking about that it is 
basically we have very few members the maximum number of members a scrum team can hold is 11 no more than 11 members so it's a very very small team light framework that helps people teams and organization to generate value through adaptive solutions adaptive solution for complex problem so now what happened was that let's say if you have to build whatsapp you are not going to build whatsapp in one go what you are going to do is you are going to divide or break down that complex problem into smaller parts and those smaller parts will be your uh, shippable product small it doesn't matter that even if you are delivering let's say in one of the uh, let's say uh, i told you about the time boxed value or the time boxing of scrum which we call sprint so in a sprint basically a scrum team has to deliver not the complete whatsapp let's say even in the first go they deliver the layout of the whatsapp and customer is able to see that layout that how will the whatsapp look how will the chat looks how will what will be the font of chat all of that is basically uh, you will be able to show uh, your customer after a month then you can receive the feedback based on the feedback you can start working again on whatever customer says so in this way what you have done by using scrum what you have done is basically you have gotten the you have delivered something to the customer you have gotten feedback of the customer as well and at the same time uh, uh, essentially what you have done is basically you have improved the process of delivery as well by, and thereby generating value for customer so this is what essentially scrum is scrum is basically a way in which you can deliver projects i uh, see luke essentially explained very thing a thing very beautifully that in project management and even in uh, as a scrum master he is playing the role of both but see a project manager basically oversees a lot but a scrum master majorly focuses on the team and how the work can be done and executed it is not limited to just software development you can apply this agile methodology in any industry and we have a lot of case studies to support that where we have seen tremendous results using scrum so scrum is a star if you understand scrum uh, you'll you'll see that how beautifully you can deliver projects and with ease as well uh, like facebook gives out a uh, a i would say an update in two weeks that's a very very good example of scrum itself they are developing everything within two weeks and giving out a giving out an update all right so with this i can come on to the fact about the difference once you now that we have understood why we need it scrum and what is scrum uh, we'll come on to the fact that difference so three roles one is scrum master product owner and the developer product owner is the one who actually owns the uh, requirements that are coming from the stakeholders uh, developers are the one who will actually code uh, if i am talking in terms of it or software the developers will be the one who will either code design those requirements and lastly scrum master is the one that actually facilitates everything he is the one he is basically uh, there is a there is a popular term we use for scrum master that is a servant leader so he is basically providing services and he is showcasing or leading the team by providing his services so we cannot say that scrum master has Uh, he cannot boss around but at the same time he can definitely mentor guide the team to follow the right agile and scrum practices so with this i can move into that scrum master versus project manager part first of all if we have to define both the roles 
we would say that a project manager is the person responsible for leading a project from its inception to its execution right from the start till the very end the scrum master is there uh, the project manager is there but when we talk about scrum master the scrum master is actually more uh, project manager is more project focused scrum master is more team focused scrum master literally focuses on how the work is going to get done and the beauty of uh, being a scrum master is that you do not need to know the technical know hows but even without knowing the technical know hows you need to know the fundamentals of scrum you need to know scrum values once you know the fundamentals and values of scrum you will be able uh, you will guide and mentor the team to actually follow those values and principles and deliver a very good quality product whereas if we talk about project manager see project manager is majorly involved uh, in talking to your stakeholders in talking to uh, i would say uh, other managers and getting the team together procuring the team how many developers would we need in this entire project okay uh, then planning okay creating budget all of that comes under the purview of project manager but scrum master is not really involved in in i would say planning the budget and all of that his main role is completely focused on basically the scrum team facilitating the scrum team delivering a good quality product by the end of sprint so scrum manager's job is just with his team so his team members and if there is any facilitation or support that is required by the team uh, be it uh, if there is a, a clarity in terms of requirement the scrum master will definitely reach out to the product owner and the stakeholders as well so that the developer can get those clarity so his job is basically to facilitate if there is any blockage faced by scrum team let's say if there is a change of scope this is what we call change of scope in which there is an additional requirement okay and additional requirement that came in between the sprint so generally in scrum what happens you already have a, a sprint goal that there is a defined set of i would say task that a team will do but just in case it's a high priority item scrum master will not directly go to project manager scrum master will involve first of all the product owner and i told you there are three roles product owner is the role that actually takes care of these kind of requirements so now yes the scrum master in terms of budgeting will have to check with the project manager as well but he will who will he involve he will involve the product owner and if let's say there is no capacity in in between the sprint okay although the capacity can be created by scrum master that's one of the responsibility of scrum master so, uh, but let's say if the capacity is not created then that particular item will become a priority item for the next sprint to come answering your question yes the scrum master will get in touch with project manager but with whom uh, first it will go to product owner and then they both will interact with your project manager so lastly in terms of uh, job description i told you that uh, project manager job description contains planning creating budget a lot of documentation whereas scrum master is not really worried with the documentation of the project but the scrum master really tracks the progress of the team so that's the difference in terms of documentation of both scrum master and project manager project manager has to make up a lot of documentation in terms of the planning in terms of budgeting in terms of delivery all of that but scrum master is majorly responsible for tracking the progress of team so that's pretty much it about project manager and scrum master i just want to take two more minutes and uh, discuss the benefits of scrum so when we talk about there are five major benefits of using scrum okay first is better product quality 
so if you're checking in with your customers and stakeholders uh, and you are evolving the requirements as well and at the same time you are clarifying the requirements that will actually show up in your product see every time your goals are clear okay those goals will get added in your sprint goal or you can say scrum and the team will deliver based on those goals itself that's why we say that we have better product quality okay second thing is faster roi so when we talk about roi let me give you a brief roi is basically return on on investment so uh, like the example i gave you if you are delivering a product in 6 months the the customer will start earning from that product after 6 months but if let's say even if you deliver no matter how small the product is you deliver that product in 15 days the uh, return on that very investment of 15 days will be very much less so the customer will start earning at a very early stage rather than what we had in uh, what we he or she would have gained in 6 months so that's that relates to more faster roi more control and more control and reduced risk see when we talk about more control uh, it is control is more because the uh, the sprints are time boxed so whatever you are doing you are doing in that two weeks and daily you are checking up so when you are daily checking as a scrum master when you are daily checking with team you are daily guiding them if they are stuck anywhere you are daily facilitating and you are doing what at the end of the day you are you have more control over the complete scrum and the risk when we say the risk is reduced we are talking about if let's say we are after every 15 days we are coming together and we are checking whether we are going in the right direction or not that removes the risk because we are inspecting and then we are adapting so that's why we have more controlled and reduced risk uh, uh lastly we have improved customer satisfaction and that is one of the major i would say benefits because at the end of the day whatever you are delivering you are trying to deliver value to customer and if the customer gets satisfied then you have yield a fruitful result that is the major goal and how is customer getting satisfied by involving customer after every 15 days they are giving their feedback of what we have delivered let's say in sprint 1 if they were not happy in sprint 2 the team will actually work on on the feedback that was given by customer and that's how the complete process improves and evolves so by giving incremental and iterative deliveries you are giving cust- uh, customer the satisfaction by giving a high value shippable product thank you for watching switch from non it to it today explore www.thinkcloudly.com